July 1st is here. We're better to spend your summer nights than at a tiki bar. We have one right here. Yeah, and this is going to be some fun. We have David Bouchard here and John Demartini. They are from Death and Glory, and uh, you guys have a really nice spread here. It smells delicious, and you've got a tiki bar going on at the restaurant. We do. We do. Absolutely. Tell us about kind of what the atmosphere is like right now. Uh, so we're in a 100-year-old house, the old Falcon House in Delray Beach. It's on uh, Federal and First. Mm -hmm. um, inside, we have our, our main bar, and then out back, we have a tiki theme bar with a selection of rums from, from all over the world. A, Tiki menu that features four classic tiki cocktails and uh, two original drinks that were uh, created by two of our bartenders. So yeah, and you guys are kind of going with the theme with the menu items you have for us right here, and you're going to teach us how to make both the drink and the fried rice, right? Absolutely. Using a uh, very unique ingredient. So let us just let you go ahead and get to it, and we'll okay. ask you some questions Perfect. while you, while you go at it. So what's the name of the drink to start so off? So it's called The Walking Dead, and it's a Ooh. riff on the 1934 zombie by Don the Beachcomber, who's one of the pioneers of, of tiki cocktails and tiki culture uh, in the United States. Awesome. Okay. So. And at the same time, we also have the uh, fried rice going on here. Yep, right we have now. a vegan fried rice uh, prepared with jackfruit and pineapple. Okay, well, let's let you guys get in and we'll pepper some questions at you awesome. in Sounds the meantime. Good. If you want to start over here, because I know okay. this is going to take a little bit more yep. work to get going here. So tell us a little bit about why uh, you add in the jackfruit into this uh, pineapple uh, fried rice. Well, jackfruit is a, it's a great vessel for flavor. It has almost the same texture as, pork, uh, as uh, shredded pork. Um, wow. It's really good for you. Um, and where's the fruit native to? Uh, is it Asia, kind of, okay. like uh, it's a very yeah. kind of tropical. Right. Yeah, it's a, it's a very tropical. It's it's the big largest fruit known to man. So it's it's, it's a huge fruit and it gets broken down. Uh, you kind of take the seeds out and that's what you use for cooking. So get this going for us. All right. So we're doing fried rice with that, right? Yes, we're doing a fried rice. Okay. So tell us kind of how you how you put that together. All right. So we're gonna take a little bit of a uh, oil. Mm, okay. All right. Simple enough, I can do Simple that. Simple enough. <laughs> Simple enough, that's it. <laughs> and you're done. And we're done. Right? And we're done. <laughs> so I'm going to get my jackfruit in there. Okay. You're right, the consistency, it doesn't look like a fruit. It almost exactly. looks like a protein yeah. or something. Yep. And, it, and it's really great because it takes on a lot of flavor. Whatever you want to flavor it with, it usually takes on that. And it's quite fantastic. Jackfruit has been a staple on our, on our menu for quite some time. Uh, we actually feature it in... Uh, in a crab cake style slider. Very nice. Um, and oftentimes people are actually fooled. Into what it is. They, right? don't, they don't necessarily know. They maybe don't read as closely. And, yeah. Um, and it's so convincing. It, texture is so, yeah. so perfect to like, you know, meat protein, uh, but, but it's not. Yeah. So. People with like cr crab allergies ask us all the time, are you sure I can have this? Right. <laughs> what are some of the other popular menu items you guys have? Uh, well, we just rolled out a new summer menu uh, okay. this weekend. Um, we have a, a lot of vegan stuff. We have, we have a little bit for everyone, you know? Uh, okay. Try to keep it exciting and And you guys change things up, because I know during Christmas time, you get really into the Christmas spirit there. We do, yeah. We do our miracle pop-up, and, uh, and this year we're actually going to be doing a Halloween pop-up as well that's going to start in the middle of September that we're going to call Death or Gory. Oh, boy. So we're, we're really looking forward to that. All right, before yeah. we have to go, tell us yeah. real quick what's in that drink. So in the drink is a blend of three different rums. There's a Jamaican dark rum, um, Puerto Rican gold rum, and then an overproof rum, somewhere in like 120 some odd. Wow. Um, and then there's fresh lime juice, uh, cinnamon syrup, grapefruit juice, falernum, which is a spiced rum syrup that has like ginger and lime, allspice, nutmeg, clove in it. And then you finish it with uh, some grenadine, which is sweetened pomegranate juice, a little bit of absinthe, uh, and then some Angostura bitters on top, and then garnish it lavishly uh, with mint. And, wow. and then we have our, our Death or Gore, uh, Glory uh, uh, swizzle sticks as well. Oh, so that's wow. always going to be in there. You are speaking Very to nice. our souls right now. 